Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Just moments away from puck drop. We'll send it down to rinkside. Ray Ferraro between the pipes could be a critical area tonight, Razor. You've got to get into the other goalie's face. Both teams have talked about it. You've got to get in for second shots. Really, it comes down to will. How can you force the other team's goalie? Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Oilers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Puck scooped up by Besser. Denied by the goaltender. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Pedersen's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on that play. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. The Oilers are on the attack. To the low slot. Shot takes it right in the chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The Oilers win the faceoff. Quick pass to McDavid. Denies him in front. Puck picked up by McDavid. Takes the feed. Denies him on the play. Pooley Arby's got control of the puck in the corner. And that's blocked. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Schmidt. Nice zone entry from the middle. Snaps one here in the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Handles the pass from his goalie. And now he moves it to Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Chris one turns it away. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but... The goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Holtby's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. The Oilers win it. Take it along the wall by Barry. Here's a shot. Great stop by Holtby. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stick save from the goaltender. Vancouver's in transition. A chance right in front. Sends it off Mark. A little bit too perfect with the delivery as he shoots it wide of the goal. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Dreisaitl. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. The Canucks are being called for tripping. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. The Oilers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Critical time in the game here. The top-ranked power play in the league gets their first opportunity to break this top. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Gets it to the other point. Swing and a miss. Taken by McDavid. Stopped by the goaltender. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. A chance! Stopped by the goaltender. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. 
along the half wall with the puck. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Stones him in front. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Edmonton's won the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. And that one's turned away. Doesn't look like much, but the defenseman are... Puts it in for the power play goal! I made a living on the power play, and you can tell early in a power play if it's going to be any good or not. If you're scrambling all over, it's not going to go that two minutes. This one worked perfectly. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. Edmonton's got the game's first goal here, Razor. Well, you got the one goal lead now, but you want to extend it as quickly as you can. Tricycles won it, and now it's grabbed by Barry. The Oilers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes it to the front. Scores! It's in the back of the net. Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Edmonton's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. The Oilers win the faceoff. Oilers goal. Scored by number 29. The Canucks get a hold of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Slides the puck to Cajon. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Takes the feed. Gives them nothing in front. Jones plays it now. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Handles the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Neal. Vancouver's regained possession of the puck. Here they come. And he takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Bears lugging the puck. Nice zone entry on the left side. Snaps it onto the net, gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Koskinen's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Oilers lead this one to zip. The Canucks win the draw. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Picked up along the boards by Besser. Stick save and a butte by Koskinen. The Oilers have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Torres wins the draw on their own end. Grabbed along the board by Nurse. Quick pass to Neal. There's the whistle as the puck skips out of play. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. The Canucks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Quick pass to Russell. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Nugent Hopkins moves the puck. 
From the left side, they gain the zone. Floats it right onto the tape. That opportunity is rejected. Steps inside. They've got numbers. From the slot, wrist shot. Stick saved by Koskinen. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. McDavid's won it in their own end. Moves it to Larson. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. From the right side, they gain the zone. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Oilers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2 0. Puck grabbed by Russell. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cassian. Puck dumped in. The Canucks have it against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Pearson. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. And he regains control of the puck. Made the stop on the play. Edmonton's across the blue line. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Works it across to Vertanen. Great pressure forcing the turnover. Big save. And he came out and challenged a good save. And this is a chance we saw just moments ago. The odd man break puts the goaltender on alert. He has to follow the puck, find the pass, and he makes the stop. The Oilers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. And now it's over to Vertanen. Across the line from center. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Edmonton's got it across the line. Here he is in front. He scores! They get one, and you think that the game's going to flatten out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that. Wow, did he hammer that. Too much power for the goalie to control, and it hits him and still goes in. Edmonton's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. Vancouver's won the draw in the neutral zone. By Up along the wing. Alex. Moves it quickly over to Pedersen. Gets in front of it. Pedersen's got it deep in the offensive end. Oh, and another big stop. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Dumps it in. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Sends a pass over. Moves the puck. Vancouver's cut it along the wall. That's blocked. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes a shot. Oh, and a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Cahoon's got it across the line. Sends the pass over. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Gains the zone on the left wing. Here's a shot. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Koskinen. Moves the puck along the half wall. And now he angles it across to Yamamoto. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. 
Hope he's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Edmonton's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. The Canucks go to work on offense. Stays with it. Quick feed to Russell. Edmonton's got the puck. Bears got it in the defensive end. Through the middle of the... He's got a step! Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. Once he broke clear, he's got his head up. He reads the scene where the goalie is and beats him with the shot. Vancouver's going to make a change in goal. You ever wonder in a blowout why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? Late goings of this period. Edmonton's now up by four. The Canucks win possession here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a chance, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Quick pass across to Nugent Hopkins. Looking to set up offensively. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Receives the pass. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. And now he moves it to Vertanen. Denies him in front. Horvat's got to be the lead dog here. I, there are times when a captain can be just one of the leadership group, but when you're down by this much, you've got to show the guys that the game can't end. You have to play hard still. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Takes it into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Canucks played along the wing. Here's a short pass to Ennis. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck in deep. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck across to Beagle. Passed up ahead. Really good quick up from the defenseman. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Oilers take it along the wall. Here's a chance. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. And that one's blocked! Picked up along the wall by Edler. Vancouver's got the puck at center. Shot! And that one's stopped. Great pass from the left wing. Edmonton's in now. Driving right to the front! He was locked in there. Just a simple save by Demko. Well, a one-sided contest through the first 20 minutes as it finally comes to an end. Hey, fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. Pay the regular season ticket price for rounds one through three. That offer is available now. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by section one. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. Second period set to get underway. 
A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Canucks just haven't done anything right. They say sometimes you got to look for the light at the end of the tunnel. Right now for them, it's an oncoming train. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. The Oilers played along the boards. Here's a shot, wide. Oh man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Besser's got it through center. Drives to the paint. Dismiss that chance. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Slides the puck over. McDavid's in on the action too. He's got a goal already as they run away with this one. Stop that one. There's always a next level to making a save. Step two. Scores! The Oilers light the lamp! Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goalie. Take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Edmonton's had them on their heels all night, and they've been lighting the lamp a lot too here. Yeah, they've had an almost perfect hockey game so far. I've loved the way they've played this game. We'll see if they can take it home. And we're still only in period number two. And now he tries to get it across to Cajon. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Yamamoto. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Snaps it on net. Turns it away. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The Oilers get a hold of it. Now over to Bear. Puts one on net. And there's the save. Demko's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. The Oilers have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. Horvath's won a big draw on their own end. And now it's over to Vertanen. Carries the puck up through center. Takes a shot and makes a save. Big stop by the keeper. Koskinen's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. Looks to set up at the point now. Denies him! There's another stop. Moves with the puck at the corner. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. And we'll get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. The Oilers continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Edmonton's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Quick pass to Ennis, denied by the goaltender. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. Puck scooped up by Sutter. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Here's a shot, comes up with the stop. Puck picked up by Turris. Neal's moving it ahead. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Ben. Sutter's got it through the neutral zone. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Over the line they come. Wrist shot from the slot. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. The Oilers are back to center, and here in this second period, it's getting out of hand. They've been doing this a lot. Score, go back to center. I guess it's better than being the other way around. McDavid's one possession. Scored by number the Oilers carried along the wall. Takes a shot. That goes off the mask. 
assisted by number 82, Hingham Jones. Time of the goal, five minutes, 32 seconds. Edmonton said the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. McDavid's won the draw. Taken by Larson. Misses high. Oh, get it on the net, man. He's trying to be too perfect with that. Sometimes you get it on the net, it'll go right through the goalie. And now he angles it across to Besser. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Puts it on net. Makes the save. And now it's grabbed by Schmidt. Gaining momentum up along the side. Cutting to the slot. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Koskinen's in strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. The Oilers have it in the offensive zone. Save made by the goalie. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Edmonton's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Moves it to chase on, and makes the save. The centermen glide into position. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Dishes it to Pearson. Vancouver's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Cutting to the front of the net. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. Nice pass. Centering pass. Shot and puts it right over the crossbar. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Pearson. He grabs the puck here at the point. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Puck grabbed by Cassian. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Here's a shot with the stop. Picked up along the boards by Horvat. Right in the low slot. Bears got the puck in his own zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Cuts to the front. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Quick feed to Rissell. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Ben. Handles it along the blue line. Stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Flips it up the net, puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though, you got a better chance to score. The Canucks are on the attack. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Scores! Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. The Canucks still have a big mountain to climb here in the second. Yeah, but they show a little life, I guess, James. I mean, things have gone so poorly for them, but that goal has to give them a little energy. Puck scooped up by Barry. That's intercepted. Through center along the wing. Takes a shot with the stop. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Stones him in front. Misses a golden opportunity there. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Dreisaitl's gaining momentum. On the attack along the boards. The Oilers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. 
In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Koskinen's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. The Oilers have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Edmonton's won the draw. Puck picked up by Barry. A shot misses over the net. Tries to get it to Miller. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Dished on over to Schmidt. Feeds it to Pedersen. From center, they get into the attacking area. Quick pass to Hughes. Wrist shot from the slot. Fantastic save! We'll get a face-off here as the puck goes out of play on that save. The Oilers continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. To the front! Denied by the goaltender. The Oilers are in transition. McDavid's got it on the offensive end. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as the play continues. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Throws it in. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves it quickly over to Pugliarvi. Played big in the moment there. Nugent Hopkins explores his options in the corner. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Sends it in deep and leaves the comfort of his crease to play the puck. The Canucks have it against the wall. Gives them nothing in front. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The Oilers have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Bears stick handling in his own zone. The Oilers have it from their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Sends it in on the attack. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he moves it to Horvat. And he gains the zone here. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Takes the pass. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slides it on over to Pearson. Maintains possession. And that goes off a player in front. Bears moving the puck through his own zone. Angles it over to Ennis. Edmonton's on the attack. Hammers the shot. Makes the save on the slapper. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And they'll dump it in. Neal's working it around in the corner. From point blank, big save. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Pass to Sutter, and that slides right out to center ice. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Let's it go. Misses over the net. Taken by Dreisaitl. Quick feed to Yamamoto. The Oilers looking against the half wall. That pass doesn't go. And now it's grabbed by Yamamoto. Back to the blue line. Puck grabbed by Cahoon. Stopped by the goaltender. Koskinen's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Edmonton's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. The Oilers win the draw. Wrist shot from the slot. Answered the call on that play. You know when you're looking for a buddy in a crowded train station? Well, now you got to find a little puck through the bodies there. Good luck to you. Found it. 
And now he tries to get it across to Besser. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Manages to hang on. Hangs on to the puck. Vancouver's in transition. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Hey fans, great tickets are still available to our next home game. Please visit the box office and get them while they last. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who was at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Vancouver's players have been a turnover machine tonight. Every time they have it, it seems like they force it into an area where they lose it. They lose the puck. They're losing the game. Steps inside. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Koskinen's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage and play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. This save's going to look just as good in replay as it did live. The goalie follows the odd man rush comes out aggressively to make the save. McDavid's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Here's a blast. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Uh, they stayed right on it. Once they scored that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. He got everything behind that weight transfer. Lots of time to wind up, and the slapper beats the goalie clean. Vancouver's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Puck scooped up by Schmidt. Nice zone entry from the left. Throws it on goal, and that one's turned away. He scores! Rob Besser steps up big time. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. Vancouver's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Scored by number six, Rock Besser. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. Too much traffic in the lane. The Canucks play it along the boards. Passes it to Schmidt. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And he rings the post. Vancouver's effort really has been fine throughout this game, but they're down a bunch. They'd like one bounce to go their way, but not there. Takes that pass back at the point. Way too much congestion blocks that. From the left side, they gain the zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Edmonton's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. The Canucks take it along the wall. 
Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Quick pass to Cajon. And he makes the save. The Oilers lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Dreisaitl's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Whiffs on that. Vancouver's grabbed a hold of the puck. Pearson's carrying it ahead. Keeps hold of the puck. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Unloads it! Shuts him down! Puck picked up by Cahoon. Moves it to Yamamoto. Another stop by the goaltender. Man, he pounded that shot. But the goalie was in good position and made the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. The Canucks have it now. Myers brings it in. Edmonton's got the puck. Taken by Jones. And it's a quick pass to Ennis. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. No one home on that play. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Russell. Here he is from the slot. Stick saved by the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. Edmonton's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Grabbed along the boards by Russell. Slides it to Ennis. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. And he regains control of the puck. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Swap up. The Oilers move it in. Cuts to the paint. Routine save made by Demko. Across the line from center. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the wall by Roussel. Puts it on goal. The blocker saved by Koskinen. Edmonton's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Patterson's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Big time blocker stopped by Koskinen. And another stop. Denies him. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The setters will glide into the dot. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Takes a shot off target. Scooped up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. To the low slot. And now it's grabbed by Besser. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Taken by Larson. Right on the doorstep. Made the stop on that play. Larson's got the puck along the wing. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Now a quick pass to Miller. Fails to find the open man. Tosses it to Pugliarvi. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Stays with it. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Horvat. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck now. Looks to pass it to Cahoon. Quick feed to Nurse. Here he is in close. Denies him in front. Here's a short pass to Horvat. 
along the right side into the offensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Here's a shot! Stopped by the goaltender. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. The Oilers move it ahead. Cuts into the paint! He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. From the point, they take control of it. Here he is in front! Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Takes the feed. Pearson swooping in on the attack. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop by Koskinen! The Oilers take it along the wing. Hammers it on net! Just slide to the net! Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. His reflexes on display tonight. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. And he denied that opportunity. The Oilers' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Takes a shot, gets in front of it. Schmitz taking it from his own end. And he slides it quickly to Russell. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Canucks take it from the side. He scores! So is this the time the coach says the two-goal lead's the most dreaded lead in hockey? Oh, yeah, somebody's going to say it guaranteed down there. But now you're only down two. You've got to push the play, take some chances, get up the ice. You've got to get another one. One-timed into the net. Everybody is puck-watching. The guy carrying it behind the net. I know he's got the puck, but the dangerous guy is behind you. He's in front of the net. Vancouver's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Ray. Yeah, James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves into the slot. Turns it away. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick pass to Bear. Nice zone entry from the middle. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Turn that chance aside. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Grabs control of it at the point. Puck grabbed by Ennis. Here he is, shot right in front. Came up with the save on that play. Turris has got it along the wall. Takes the feed at the point. Puck scooped up by Turris. Right in the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Tough enough to make the save unless you can see it. He's got to fight his way and find the puck. Demko's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. The Oilers have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. The Canucks win the draw. Moves the puck to Miller. Up along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Cutting to the front of the net from point blank range. Paddled away by Koskinen. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Ah, he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. Edmonton's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. The Canucks win it. Take it along the wall by Myers. Vancouver's got it along the wall. 
Centering pass. Here he is, wristed on net, and that's blocked. The Canucks have it against the wall. Puck picked up by Pedersen. Puts it on net, and that one's stopped. Koskinen's gonna hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Here's a chance, and there's the save. Takes the feed. They go on the attack from the left side. Into the corner. Handles the puck. Stones him in front. High quality chance, high quality save. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Sends a pass over. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And makes the save. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Quick shot. Denies him again. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. Koskinen's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Edmonton's won the faceoff. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Miller. Cuts to the front. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Miller. Moves right to the middle. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, that just goes wide. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. The Oilers lead it late in this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Sutter. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Oilers have it from their own end. Vancouver's trailing, that's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Wide open net, doesn't go. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Taken by Edler. Picked up along the boards by Roussel. Unloads the shot! Too much congestion in front. Roussel's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. The centermen glide into position. The Oilers win it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Yamamoto. A chance to end it. Misses. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Nugent Hopkins has won the faceoff. Here's a chance! Denied by the goaltender. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Great, they had plenty of opportunities to try to get that power play going, and they certainly did. Well, finally, with the having the power play advantage, you would think you're going to cash through a little bit, but the coaches made a couple adjustments on the power play on the bench, and it eventually paid off for them. They talk about wanting to have more fun in the sport. This is a perfect example of that step forward.
Well, when the players started saluting the fans, you could almost feel like the connection between the two of them started to increase. I think it's a great thing to do, and look how much fun everybody's having. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.